Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche Advice. Right, contractors have gone through the mill in the last year or so. Obviously, with AR, IR35, you've seen different positions open up with contractors. So you've got the people that are carrying on doing daily rate contracting, and that's fine. We can get finance based on the daily rate. The best one out there at the moment is times five, times 48. You will need a minimum income of 40 to 50K. However, then you've got the, the guys that have decided to say, you know what, we've had enough of this contracting malarkey. We're just going to go in an employed position. That's great. So we've got options on that. But you've got the problem area, and those are the people that have gone into an umbrella company and have recently set up with an umbrella company there are some challenges around that in this video I'm going to tackle those challenges and also talk about the solution so I'll catch you on the video like and subscribe as always and I'll see you there Hello everybody, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. I thought talk about uh, contractor mortgages because there's been a lot of changes uh, with IR35 coming in and it's impacted the contractor market, the self-employment market. So what's happened is a lot of people that were on those lovely great daily rates um, have now been told by their employers that you know they, they're essentially have seen to be employed. So they've had to go into employed positions. Now what they've what the, a lot of them tend to have done is, um, and I don't know why, obviously for tax purposes, um, they've, they've gone in and they've got employed by new companies. Now, generally those companies are not the actual employer. They're getting employed by umbrella companies. So that all sounds good and you know, they've, they've been sold the dream by the umbrella companies and you know, we'll give you this, we'll make you payments, we'll give you your pay slips, we'll pay your taxes and stuff. However, when it comes to mortgages, they're finding it more and more difficult to get a mortgage because some very prominent contractor friendly lenders have decided that they would want 12 months experience with the umbrella company. Well, that screwed a lot of people up because they've, you know, because of IR35, a lot of those people have actually just started under their umbrella company. So, um, you know, those two bits of criteria don't go well together because in one hand, you may have got many, many years worth of experience, okay, as a contractor, you've now gone and employed, but rather than going employed directly, you're under an umbrella company and the lenders are saying, I need 12 months experience as an, within the umbrella company setup. The good news is we've got a lender that is practical uh, when it comes to this stuff, high street rates, um, and in terms of uh, they don't need 12 months experience, they will need you to have a couple of years, I would say, a couple of years experience as a contractor, a minimum of um, 12 months experience as a contractor. Generally, it will want two years, I would have said. Um, daily rate's good. Uh, it's your daily rate. Well, uh, from a contracting perspective, uh, obviously, if you were a contractor still, they'll still do the daily rate stuff, you know, times five, times 48, minimum income of 50K. But if you have just recently made the jump and you now want to get a mortgage, um, then there is a there is a poly, uh, there is the uh, option for you, and that's good for residential mortgages as well as buy to let mortgages. Often I've had a number of calls, certainly in the last couple of weeks, where there's people looking to raise money out of their properties. Maybe they're stuck with a their existing lender, thinking everything's going to be all right. Now they want to remortgage, raise money, build an extension, do whatever they want to do, or raise money for a buy to let mortgage to buy another investment property, and have been stuck with this uh, with this ruling. So I thought it's it's, it's quite a um, niche, very niche product. We've been dealing with contractors for many, many years. They come in all shapes and sizes. There are different uh, different lenders. They treat contractors differently. Some tr treat um, IT contractors differently. Uh, some treat uh, sort of newly employed. Just touching on the new employed. So if you have just literally gone into a new employed position, because I've had one today. Um, it was a contractor and he's now gone into an employed position with an employer. There are many lenders that do not have a minimum time gap in terms of day employment generally they would take the employment if you've started your job so day one of employment there are a couple of lenders that you can do it within three months of employment you will have to show a really good level of history of being within that sector uh, and you know proving you can't be you know i was unemployed for 12 months and now i've got this job can you give me a mortgage in three months time i'm going to start my job can you do that doesn't really work but if you show you've got the history um generally the rule is there's a number of lenders that will do day one employment 
Um, there will be uh, one or two lenders that will do it if it, on future jobs and they can take the future salaries and obviously a lot more lenders three or six months within your role. Um, there are some caveats to that. There's a few lenders that will say, look, you need to have had continuous employment, whether employed, self-employed contractor for 12 months. But again, there are some lenders that don't have that requirement. So hopefully you found this useful. If you are a contractor or if you're someone who's recently got into an umbrella company, or has gone into new employment, then obviously give us a, give us a try and give us a call uh, or fill in the inquiry form and we will come back to you. Thanks a lot. All the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.